Hello Capricorn, welcome to your full moon love reading. So this is going to uncover any secrets, revelations, anything underlying underneath the surface that spirit wants to illuminate to you with the light of this full moon in Scorpio. We're going to figure out what that is in terms of love for you. So let's dive right in and see what spirit has to say. What's going on for Capricorn from the 27th and the 28th? Any reveals? What's going on with this full moon in Scorpio? Just heard one and four. There we go. The Empress in reverse. Okay. What's the other card for Capricorn? Thank you for being so clear, Spirit, about what's going on in love for Capricorn. What's in Capricorn's energy field for love for the full moon in Scorpio? April 27th and 28th, what are the reveals that you want to let Capricorn in on? We are breathing in the correct answers for you, Cap. What's going on in Cap's love energy field? Why do we have the Empress in reverse? Spirit is making me work for this Capricorn. So what's up with the Empress in reverse? We are attracting free-flowing answers. Thank you. King of Cups in reverse. Ooh, this is like something that was definitely supposed to supposed to work out but didn't um and i feel like you both are still stuck on each other this is kind of a situation of the exes so the empress i'm feeling like someone lost out in, on the empress and it's almost like i don't know if you're the empress i don't know if you're the king of cups in reverse but this is a loss definitely this is someone losing out on each other like two people in this relationship this is something that definitely could have and should have gone the distance but for whatever reason, it did not. It kind of crashed and burned. So I don't know if this person could have been, um, yeah, they could have had Taurus placements. They could have had water sign placements. Eight of Cups in reverse is the bottom line. That's the bottom of the deck energy. Upright, it's about moving on. In reverse, it's about being stuck. So I definitely feel like you guys are stuck on each other's energy. And that's what's being revealed with this full moon in Scorpio. Shuffle twice, cut three times for more for Capricorn. So can you tell us more about what needs to be revealed with the light of this full moon? All right. What's going on for Capricorn? Why do you want to bring up this past situation with this past love that should have worked out and the one on the top they said? So we have volcano volatility. I feel like, yeah, when I said crash and burn, I was not joking, okay? So this is the energy of something... It's almost like it started off really hot and heavy, and then it just exploded into something really terrible, or it was a very dramatic ending. And I feel like because it was so dramatic, it was so abrupt, um, and I, I feel like neither one of you expected it. I also never noticed on this card, there's like faces at the top of this smoke, and it's almost like they're, it's like bursting with love kind of energy. I feel like this is definitely spirit letting you know that the feelings are very much still there, this person that I'm talking about, I feel like you know who this is and you're thinking about them for a reason because they still think about you. And then we have spring equinox rebirth, which I definitely feel like that's what you want. I feel like that's what this person wants because you're both still stuck in each other's energy, whether or not you've seen each other, which you, I feel like you haven't, but you're, you're both still thinking about each other. You're intuitively connected to each other calling in your soulmate. This person definitely was a type of soulmate for you, Capricorn. What's the other revelation coming for Capricorn with this person? Okay, we have two, so we're going to take them both. True love. We have true love and calling in your soulmate and engagement. So, Cap, I feel like this person definitely want. like I said in the beginning, this is something that should have worked out but didn't. This was something that was supposed to be super long-lasting, but for whatever reason, you guys crashed and burned, and this person cannot get you off their mind. They can't, it's not even like they're sad about you. I feel like at a point they were, they were missing you. They were like, okay, what was me without Capricorn? But then we have rebirth. So they're really thinking about um, something long-term with you again. And that's kind of what I get with engagement. And then of course we have passion, which does not surprise me. This person could have been a Leo, by the way. We have Leo energy and also with that kind of fire energy energy right there. They definitely could have been an earth sign or a water sign. But I definitely feel like this person is not over you in the slightest, Capricorn. They feel like you're their soulmate. But let's see, maybe if Spirit will give something about why they're not um, expressing that. Why I got 
gotta be the channel. All right? Trust, clarity, a belief. And I like that it's a zero and a one. So zero does remind me of rebirth. I definitely feel like this person wants a new beginning with you and with clarity of belief. It's like they had to lose you to see more clearly. I do think losing you in this time apart and being away from each other has really helped both your clarities, both your visions. You guys kind of know what you want, you know what you don't want. And I feel like you want each other. But, and I do think the situation's changing with a butterfly on this card, but I think what's like it's all in stride it's all in flow you, you can't just like rush the process i feel like spirit is like take it easy take it slow it can't start off as fast as it did before i feel like that was part of the problem there's an energy in here about like ease and trusting and free flowing energy so we have new world and we also have rebirth coming up it's almost like after the destruction, then a rebirth, then a new world. I feel like there definitely is an opportunity for you guys to kind of get back together, rekindle something or restart something. But I think what it's kind of like learning about divine timing in the meantime. You've got to learn a little bit more about the way that the universe works in terms of timing. And then we have eternal union. New love is forming. We have rebirth, new world, new love. Okay, this person definitely wants a restart with you, even with the trust card with the zero on it. Ascended masters, create open communication. So spirit could be encouraging you to reach out if that feels kind of off to you, if it feels like something you don't want to do or you have done it and this person didn't respond, give it more time. But if you do feel the call, definitely reach out to this person. I don't think spirit would disapprove of that. Okay, let's see what else is going on for Capricorn. What's the number frequency associated with Cap and this person for the new moon? I'm sorry, the full moon, okay? We are at a full moon. Look at this. We have five and five, adding up to a ten, and even on the dice, they look like X's. And, of course, the Roman numeral symbol for ten is an X, so this is definitely an X, definitely an X that wants to get back together. That seems to be a theme so far in all these readings. Even with the fives kind of being harmonious together, I feel like that's symbolic of what they want. Even though I am picking these up, every side is like a double. This is someone that definitely wants a rebirth, a restart to reignite the flame with you, Cap. But yeah, so this is what's going on for the full moon for you, Capricorn. I hope that this resonated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next moon phase reading.